So today I want to talk a little bit about my experience being here in Medellin, Colombia, and um, also what I, the different areas of the city and kind of where I ended up staying um, with my place when I came here. I didn't really know anything honestly about the city, like probably as much as you did honestly about um, where to stay, what to do, all that kind of stuff. So I made a few videos on YouTube about um, think cool things to do in Colombia, what the nightlife is like, all that kind of stuff. And I kind of want to continue this series just by talking about the area in which is, the areas in which I lived and kind of get into that in this video. All the places that I've stayed in uh, Medellin, I found on Airbnb, which I found to be the cheapest way to book a place. And also very easy to see all the different reviews, super simple check-in process. You can also talk with the host of the Airbnb. Um, it was just very easy in general and also way more affordable. So this place specifically that I'm staying at is called Travelers Apartamentos and Suites uh, Urban Studios. And this is in El Tesoro the region of Medellin. So you can see here behind me, got a really great view. Um, it's almost sunset here. And uh, this place has a lot of good amenities, like a pool, has a gym, um, has really good blazing fast Wi-Fi. And I'm paying about 45, 50 bucks a night in order to stay at this place. So it's kind of doubling as a workplace environment for me, but also I, I, you know, I just love um, seeing this view, this balcony, it's beautiful, I have one bedroom, um, and it's great. So this place I found on Airbnb, and I'll include a link down below if you want to book your first place on Airbnb. You can actually get some Airbnb credit um, through that link to book your very first place. This is the, the, the third place that I stayed in, and I found it to be pretty close to a lot of the attractions that you might want to go to. It's pretty close to El Tesoro Parque Comercial. It's relatively uh, close to Parque El Poblado, Parque Lleras. Um, it, it's basically right by La Florida. So a lot of great places around here. And I would say an Uber ride is maybe gonna be like $3, $4 in order to get into um, the Central Park of Yeras area where there's a lot of shopping and food and all that kind of stuff. You know, Santa Fe uh, is another commercial, uh, Santa Fe, Central Commercial, Santa Fe is another area that I actually had a different Airbnb at. So with that Airbnb, I was only paying, I think, around $30 a night, maybe $35. And this was basically a private residence kind of home that had a lot of different one-bedroom apartments within that. It also had a pool and a backyard. Um, the difference here was that rather than staying in a high-rise, I was staying on a one-level um, private residence. So this was very close to Santa Fe Mall. And this place was called, if my memory serves, this place was called uh, Burko Urban Lofts. And it was kind of a newer place I found on Airbnb because uh, I hadn't seen too many other people that were, were staying there. But Burko Urban Lofts, if you want to check it out, they have this really big um, door in the front. Now, on the plus side, this is a much more affordable place to stay at. On the negative side, it was a little bit harder to get to with Ubers, I found. So I had to kind of deal a little bit with, they weren't sure if it was this place or that place or which hotel I was at because it was a private residence. But aside from that, uh, it was pretty pretty smaller room, but really clean, great, decent. Um, it had a, a hot tub, which took a little bit while to get, to get hot, honestly, but it had a really nice pool and um, pretty centrally located to Santa Fe. Uh, there's also a gym that I joined right around there. Um, a lot of very safe areas to walk in this area. So in general, I would say that that was probably my least favorite Airbnb I stayed at, but it was very affordable and I saved a lot of money just being there because um, I could very easily walk down to the the gym. I could easily walk down and get a Starbucks, uh, go to Subway, that kind of stuff, and I wouldn't have to pay for a Uber in order to get there. I could really easily walk there. My first Airbnb that I stayed at was uh, very nice and it was called Blux Apartamentos, B-L-U-X. So Blux Apart Apartamentos, where my, my other Airbnb was by Santa Fe Mall, which was uh, also Los Balsos uh, Dos, or near Alejandria, so maybe like very, very close to, you know, Centro El Poblado. My other one, Blux Apartamentos, this one was actually a little bit farther away. So this was in an area called Las Lomas. Las Lomas, you'll also see lots of high rises just like this one. And for the Blux Apartamentos, I was paying, I think $45 per night for that one. 
had a pool, rooftop, um, great Wi-Fi, really good experience in general. Um, so if you're interested, you can go and find that one on Airbnb as well. I'll include a link if you're interested. But the, I would say of the three, my favorite was Blux Apartamentos, but the problem was it was just a little bit farther outside the city, um, which was kind of annoying because I would have to Uber everywhere if I wanted something. The cool thing about my second location was that it was really easy to just walk to the mall or to walk to the supermarket. My third location, I just love this view, man. This is beautiful. And um, it's a relatively Uber, easy Uber ride. Um, the only downside is like the management is a little bit more strict, I found, in this place. And also the pool I haven't been to yet because it, apparently it's been under maintenance or something like that, which is kind of annoying. So my favorite was probably my first place, quite frankly. Um, I would say my second favorite was this one. Then my third one was the, the smaller Airbnb I stayed at. Uh, but that being said, it depends on your budget level. You can do a lot of very cheap hostels here in Medellin. There's also a lot of cheap Airbnbs. If you don't want to go above, you know, $25 a night, that's completely reasonable. It just depends on if you want your own place or not. If you want to be close to um, the central area, El Poblado, where you want to stay, etc. So that's really up to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Salvador Brigman. Come subscribe if you want more videos like this. Check out my other videos on Medellin, Colombia, so you can learn a little bit more about the city before you actually come here.